Taliban said that no girl can go to school. And if she goes, then you know what we can do. Tonight, Malala remains in intensive care. She was shot in the head for daring to suggest girls should go to school. Um, the exciting thing about documentaries right now is that they are becoming more cinematic. They're using more dramatic tools. I think people expect them to be entertaining and funny, and that's what I hope that it isn't sort of that movie that's supposed to be good for you. It's actually a very inspiring, you know, very beautiful story that, that, that every family can enjoy. Me and my wife, we cried all the night. The doctors told me she will survive, but she may not be the same as she was. They shot me on the left side of my head. They thought that the bullet would silence us. I am the same Malala. You learn from the experience I had. Very nice to see and you. Uh, nice to see you. A woman is more powerful than me. What were you? You filmed this uh, documentary over a two-year period, correct? What, was there something during that time that surprised you about Malala and her story? The amazing thing about this family is that their kitchen table is very similar to mine. This, this family is funny and irreverent. They arm wrestle, they tease each other. You know, they, sometimes they even hit each other just like my children do. And uh, that's what's so, so I think, inspiring about the story. You might think it's, oh, it's about this girl who was shot on her school bus, which is true. And she's also this advocate this, for the world and for girls' education everywhere. But they're also this family that, that uh, from this part of the world that we don't really understand. And it's, it's I think what people will love about this movie is how much fun it is and how inspiring it is. You named her after a girl who spoke out and was killed. It's almost as if you said she'll be different. You're right. As the title indicates, one part of the film definitely focuses on Malala and her relationship with her father. Has making this movie changed how you view the role of being a father? It's a great question. I have two daughters and I worry about them. I mean, my daughter's schools are, are, are safe, but they sort of confront a lot of things that I think girls everywhere confront, which is that, do I feel equal to my brothers? Um, do I feel confident to speak out? There's this amazing moment where um, Malala's father talks about how uh, he names her. He names her after this, after this mythical character named Malale, who spoke out uh, to rally the Afghan troops to beat the British, uh, and she was killed for speaking out. And when I realized that she was named after a girl who was killed for speaking out, and Malala was shot for speaking out. I was like, how can this be? This is an incredible story. And then, of course, the family tree of uh, um, Malala's family uh, goes back 300 years. But until this moment, uh, it was only men. And so Malala's father made a choice for her. He took a pen, he drew a line, and he wrote her name, and forever said, I want this girl to be different. And at the core, that's what this movie's about, is the power of finding your voice the power of speaking out and the courageousness of this girl. And my, that's my hope, is that girls will say to their dad and their mom, let's go to this movie. This is important to me. This, is, this girl speaks for me. I'm not a lone voice. I am many. And our voices are our most powerful weapons. One child, one teacher, one book, and one pen. They can change the world.